All right, we should have our names finished up. We have our black outline all around and our white highlights on there, um, but we'll set those to the side for now. Our next step is to make like our brick background. We're going to do that with a rectangle sponge and white and black paint. My I don't have white paint here where I'm making the video, so I'm just using um, like a really light gray. It should work just fine, but uh, you guys will have black and white and it'll look a little bit better. So, um, just like it shows you in the example, you're going to smudge your brush, I mean your sponge, in the paint and then layer the paint on like bricks. Oops, <laughs> I started a little bit even though I didn't mean to yet. Okay, so let's get going on this. I'm going to... I'm going to do some test stamps right there. So in some nice neat rows, just going to, because our background paper is black, we really don't need um, as much black as white probably. So this makes a, like a, and we don't want them to mix too much either because then you're just going to get gray and you're not going to get that effect of um, of like kind of textured, maybe old or dirty um, brick wall. Sorry, it's hard to talk and stamp at the same time. I'm just re-dipping into my paint here. And stamping on. You can do a different pattern if you want to. I had kind of not wanted to layer them like this. Um, I'll show you on the next row kind of more what I was planning on doing, but then once you get started, you make mistakes, but you learn as you go, right? Okay, so I have two rows of my textured brick wall. So I'm going to continue that and add to that. But this time I'm going to uh, layer it like where my two bricks were meeting. I'm going to put a brick there. Let's see if I can just do another stamp out of that one. Yeah, I can. Cool. Okay, and we'll see if it works again. It did, okay. So now I need to finish it off with kind of like a half stamp and it's okay if it gets on the table because you'll just have to clean the table afterward. Um, but that's okay. All right, so I'm just gonna continue to dip my brush and my paint, I mean my sponge into the paint, not my brush, it's not a brush, and stamp it on my paper. So this is something that can get messy really quickly, um, that's okay, and it honestly doesn't take that long of a time, you can see I've been doing this uh, for maybe about three minutes and I'm almost done so um, much of your class today should be used for cleaning up your tables after putting away your supplies cleaning off the sponges cleaning your hands all that good stuff. Okay. Let me get these edges so it looks like it's an actual wall I'm going all the way. So I like my second two lines a lot more than I liked my first two lines. I think I'm kind of getting the hang of it and, and learning how I wanted it a little bit better. But that's okay. Like you learn as you go. You learn as you do things. We're not supposed to be a uh, perfect artist yet, right? That's why we're still in school and learning how to do things. 
Okay. So we'll finish off our sponge brick wall. <coughs> Just pushing down all over, but being careful not to stick my fingers in the wet paint. Okay, I'm going to dab a little bit more on to finish off these sides. Getting it all over my table. <laughs> and that's okay, like I said, today is about sponging that paint on and then cleaning it up. If you notice somebody at your table who's having a hard time, who's struggling, um, not really getting it, then offer your assistance. So my hands are pretty nasty, pretty dirty. Definitely need to wash those. We'll put this someplace to dry. Hopefully you guys remember to put your name on the back. We'll put this someplace to dry. Um, and yeah, and we're done with that. Our next step will be to cut this out and glue it on top and we are finished with our graffiti wall.